first command is ping so suppose if i ping google.com what does ping do ping checks the network connectivity between the source and the destination what does that mean now i am sending packets to google the name of the packets that i'm sending are called the icmp packets i'm getting a response from google.com this is the ip address of google means this means since i'm getting a reply back it means we have established a connectivity between us and google from ping we can also understand the round trip time it requires for each packet to travel so this time means that how long did it take for the packet to travel from the source to the destination and to back to the source again also here we can see the ttl which means time to live the next command we are going to be looking at is the trace route command so what is trace route and why do we need trace route to understand trace route we first have to be very clear about the purpose of ping ping is only used to check whether we can reach to our destination host or not but suppose if in a case where we see that the response we get is destination host unreachable then we have to figure out the problem or the router where our network got cut off and trace route is used to check exactly that suppose if i do similarly google.com trace route determines all the hops that the icmp packet took in order to reach google.com this is the final destination of google and this is the final router that my packet took in order to reach the destination host this is the ip of my router and these are all the routers between me and google this is the round trip time that the packets took in order to reach to google and to return to me back again next we have is the ipa command i like to think of a as all it means that my machine will show all the network connections the first we have is the loopback address 127001 then we have my wireless connection this is my ipv4 address this is the subnet mask slash 24 this is my broadcast address and this is the mac address of my network interface card these are all the ipv6 address that my machine is picking up we have a very similar command which is the if config the main difference between ipa and if config is if config will show you the hardware ethernet connections that you will have to your machines and if if config is the old command ipa is the new command i still use if config and since i don't have any hardware ethernet connections i only have my access point that's why it's only showing my wireless connection if you only want to see your wireless connection we have another command iw config it will show you the wireless connection that my machine has here we can see the name of my network clubhouse then we're getting the mac address of the access point we can also see the bitrate and there are some additional information here now we will be seeing the ipn command n stands for neighbor we have an alternative command which is the arp a command if you do not know what arp is arp is address resolution protocol the purpose of arp is to bind the mac address to the ip address what will happen is a first broadcast message will be going out saying who has this ip address and the one who has this ip address will reply back saying hi i have this ip address and here is my mac address that's how we can know the mac address and the ip address that a particular machine has suppose here you can see 192.168.0.1 is the ip default gateway of my router and we can also bind it with the mac address this means that this is the mac address of my router next we have is the ipr command here R stands for route. 
alternative to the IPR command, we have the route command. So what does the route command do? Route will show you all the network segments that your machine has the route to. In this case, since my machine is only connected to my router, only one route is there and my network address is 192.168.0 because the subnet mask here is slash 24, 255.255.255.0 and this is my default gateway. And why is this so important? Because suppose if in a pen testing environment, you give this command and you see that you have slash 24 with this IP address, your own IP address. You might be wondering, there could be a possible 255 host only. But that's where you would be wrong because your machine might be connected to different routes too. Suppose here it could be 192.168.1.0, 192.168.2.0 and so on. 